It's GeForce Now Thursday, so it's time we take a look at the latest games to hit the GFN service, but before we do, we have a few other stories to cover. The first of which revolves around upscaling your gaming experience. The newest GFN update has delivered the resolution upscaling options that were previously talked about in the past, and it brings with it the same AI upscaling that as of now was reserved only for the Shield TV device. So to break this down as simple as possible, if your stream resolution and display resolution don't match and there is room for improvement, you can actually take advantage of this upscaling to do that. And this goes both ways in the sense that you can both upscale and downscale to improve image fidelity. There are three modes that this currently supports. Standard, which is how you play GFN now, then there's Enhanced. This uses a filter which does result in better image quality, but do note it will use more system resources. Lastly, there's AI Enhanced, which is the exact same setup the Shield TV uses to pretty spectacular results. It does need to be said that there are some system requirements for AI Enhanced. You need to be running on an RTX 30 or 20 series GPU, a GTX 16 or 10 series, or a Titan GPU. On top of this, you need to be running on Windows 10 or later and be using GeForce driver version R460.82 or greater. And this is because AI Enhanced mode leverages the computational power of the GPU to pass content through a trained neural network model. And for those wondering, this feature is not exclusive to the 3080 tier. Anyone can use it as long as you have the requirements met. And moving on to the next story, it's all about a new way to access all these settings. You'll be able to adjust custom stream settings all in-game by simply hitting Ctrl G, going to settings, and then gameplay. There you can take control of stuff like bitrate, vsync, and the new upscaling models. In addition to this, the update also comes with a new improved web streaming experience on play.geforcenow.com. It will now automatically assign the ideal streaming resolution for devices that are unable to decode at high streaming bit rates. And this update also fixes that issue of launching directly into games from desktop shortcuts. Next up, we're talking about LG because more of their 2021 4K TV models including the OLED, QNED, NanoCell, and UHD TV series can now download the GeForce Now app. You can do this directly from the LG content store, but you do need to have a gamepad on hand to play these games. In celebration of the app's full launch and expansion of devices supported by GeForce Now, any qualifying LG purchases from February 1st to March 27th in the United States comes bundled with a sweet 6-month priority membership to the service. It's a pretty sweet deal if you're in the market for a TV. But now let's get to the new games being added this week to GFN, of which there are a total of 5. Those titles are Mortal Online 2, Demon X Machina, Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, Tropico 6, and Assassin's Creed 3 Deluxe Edition. I want to highlight two of those titles in particular. First up is Demon X Machina, and that's because it's going to be free on the Epic Game Store this week. I love games that are free, and this one looks pretty good. In this title, you'll get to pilot your fully customizable arsenal mech and join your fellow mercenaries in defending humanity from the corrupted machines and gigantic robots in this post-apocalyptic action game. The game has an amazing and unique art style, supports full online co-op as well as battle against other players in 1v1 or 2v2 versus modes. From what I've heard, if you're a fan of Armored Core, you should definitely be checking it out. The second title I want to mention is Metro Exodus PC Enhanced Edition. It'll be available on both Steam and the Epic Game Store, and is a free upgrade if you already own the game on either. This makes an already amazing game even better. Seriously, I love this title and I think it's a fantastic get if you haven't played it. When it came out, it was one of the best looking games and I would argue that still holds true to this day, but with this PC Enhanced Edition, it manages to look even better. It's also worth pointing out that this version of the game does require a ray tracing capable GPU. So if you happen to be a priority member, or better yet, a 3080 tier member, you'll definitely have a game to test this out with. It's also important to point out that the DLC for Metro Exodus is also enhanced with this. So if you haven't already, be sure to pick up that expansion pass because I think it's well worth it as well. And with that, we wrap up this GeForce Now Thursday. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thanks for watching. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming and VR related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.